There was a huge banyan tree beside a lake which nested a number of cranes. In the hollow at the foot of the tree lived a poisonous black snake. He used to climb up and eat the crane's young after they were hatched. One crane who had lost her children to the cunning black snake started weeping on the banks of the lake. A crab who was nearby heard the crane weeping and asked, "Why do you cry, auntie? I am the unlucky mother, all of whose children have been eaten by the wicked black snake who lives in the hollow of the tree. What else can I do but weep? I would have killed the snake if I could." The crab thought for a while. "I have to devise a plan to have the black snake killed and have the cranes destroyed at the same time." The cranes are our natural enemy. I will tell him half truth and half lies to my advantage. Thinking so, the crab said to the crane, "Auntie, I will tell you a plan to get rid of the black snake. All you have to do is scatter some fish and flesh from a nearby burrow where a mongoose lives to the snake's hollow. When the mongoose will come following the food and reach the snake's home, he will certainly kill him." The crane agreed to do as the crab planned. As anticipated, the mongoose saw the black snake while following the trail of food. They had a fight and the mongoose killed the snake. After this, the mongoose realized that there were many cranes on the top of the trees. In due course of time, the mongoose climbed up the trees and started killing the cranes till all the cranes were destroyed. The moral of the story is the solution of the problem should not be worse than the problem itself. That is, while trying to solve the problem, you should not complicate the problem further. In a jungle, there lived a jackal. One day, looking for food, he wandered into a nearby village. A pack of dogs saw him and surrounded him. They attacked him and tried to drive him away. In order to save himself, the jackal ran into a nearby house. This house belonged to a washerman. The front yard of the washerman's house was full of big vats. The jackal jumped into one of these vats to hide himself. The dogs followed him but could not find him anywhere and went away. After a while, the jackal came out of the vat. What he did not realize was that the vat in which he had hidden was full of blue dye and now his whole body was dyed blue. When the dogs saw him, they did not recognize him. Instead, they thought it was some strange animal and ran away terrified. The jackal went back to the forest. Everywhere he went, the animals would run away from him. The jackal could not understand why all the animals were so terrified of him all of a sudden. He went to the river and looked at his reflection. When he saw that he had been colored blue by the dye, he understood that all the animals were running away from him because they were terrified. Friends Do not be afraid of me. The creator of this jungle, the almighty God has sent me to be your king. I am here to protect you. Do not fear me. The other animals were convinced and obeyed every instruction the jackal gave them. First he made them chase away all the other jackals from the forest. Next they were to hunt and bring him food every day. The jackal lived this way for some days. One day, when he was sitting surrounded by all the other animals, he heard a pack of jackals howling in the distance. Having been away from others of his kind for so long, he was overcome with joy at hearing other jackals. He raised his head and howled in response. Hearing him, all the other animals realized that they had been fooled by an ordinary jackal they all attacked him and tore him to pieces the moral of the story is the true nature of a man cannot be hidden for long 
If you enjoyed the story above, I encourage you to subscribe for more engaging content like this. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest stories and insights.